Hi, I'm Karen Cole, and today I'm sitting with Mike Rebusall, Xerox Business Production Color Manager, mm -hmm. and also Idea Alliance G7 expert as well, right Mike? That's right. As part of maintaining great image quality, we always start with baseline calibration. So let's right. start there, like sure. as an initial step. Sure. Um, what, how would you describe calibration? Well, calibration is certainly ignored a lot, depending on the customer and the environment, but calibration gives you that precision in your press so that you can be confident that it's repeatable and, and day in and day out when you print, you're going to get the same results. And how often should people calibrate? I would say initially when, when things look different. So if you have a, a golden job or you have some type of a job built into the, to the rep that you run daily, um, visually would be one indicator, but not everybody's eyes see the same way. Not everybody's sensitive to color. So, so I would say the, um, the more important factor is to make sure on a, on a daily or even on a shift basis, depending on how, how much volume the customer's running, that they do calibration. So it's bringing them back to that norm. There's baseline, baseline linearization. Yep. Every manufacturer has an aim point for their calibration. So each one of those little step wedges have a value or a density, and that's important that uh, you return it to that point. Right. You're basically maximizing the total gamut that mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. output device can produce. Sure. You're maximizing that. You're, you're ensuring that the, the lightest highlight dot and the, the darkest shadow dot are the same uh, every time you go to print. What are some of the other variables that could also go sure. into trigger, I need sure. to do a calibration? Right. Well, service interaction. So there are some customer replaceable components or maybe your service tech came in and uh, a high frequency part was worn out, he had to change the fuser roll or something like that. You definitely want to recalibrate afterwards because that's going to reset everything internally in, in the machine, um, ensure that you're, you're linear once again when you print. Uh, other things that can happen, the environment potentially, if, if you, uh, your humidity is really hot one day and it's, it's really wet and, or in January it's really dry, that's going to influence how zero, gra zero graphics inside of the press uh, behave. and that can dictate a new calibration. And with the C60, C70, we offer embedded and we also have an external mm -hmm. EFI. What type of customers should be looking at EFI? Well, customers that are, um, are more intensive in terms of the graphics and the image processing that they require would certainly. So if it's, if it's really more of a walk-up environment and they're just printing a, um, a good enough color, as I call it, where you know memory colors are accurate, they may not need the the uh, standalone fiery or the bustled fiery, but those customers that want to ensure that their color is accurate to an industry standard or, um, or they have the need to do tra auto trapping or, or uh, more advanced workflows for imposition, things like that, it's going to dictate a, a, a fiery um, and, that, and that's a good choice. And, and what are some of the tools, because you can get multiple tools right. with EFI, whether it's embedded or external. You right. want to talk about some of the packages that sure. come with? And then you also have the Color Profiler Suite, which includes uh, a suite of tools, hence the name, and yeah. also a handheld spectrophotometer, so you can measure color more accurately. And we'll be using that spectrophotometer yep. when we talk about calibrating with EFI. That's right. So um, it's real important at Xerox that we meet industry standards. So. So FOGRA 39 is a European standard, um, and in the U.S. it's Grackle, um, which is managed through ID Alliance. And uh, ID Alliance has a digital press certification, which measures a lot of image quality attributes, not just color. Well, it wants to ensure that text is, is, is correct. Uh, when you print tints, they're very uniform. You're not seeing a lot of waviness. So uh, a lot of work went into this, um, into this certification, and that's something we're really proud of. And, and a lot of manufacturers make sure that they can print to that standard. 